I say come back up. The five stage of life. Number one, you are young adults. So you have no idea. Number two, you are a young man. You begin to have some responsibility. Number three, you are a young man with responsibility. That means you are uh, married. Then number four, you are a man with commitment. That's when you have child. Stage one, you think you grow up. Actually, you are kids, young adults. And number two, I really grow up. So I learn to have some responsibility of life. But that can be of interest. You know, I, I, I like the meeting and uh, uh, I, I enjoy the speaking or I enjoy to be with the sons. Uh, no, they're not last very long. And number four, <clears throat> uh, or number three, they get married, their responsibility. But remember that uh, now. When you, once you get married, you feel you grow up. That's very interesting. Once you get married, the second day, you think you grow up. Is that true? Which is true. All of a sudden, you realize before a man has a car accident, he died. Now, if he has a car accident, his wife wept. wept. All of a sudden, he realized, I better take care of my life more careful. I better take care of my living more careful. But once you have a kid, you have a kid, then it's no longer just I have a responsibility. I have investment in commitment. My whole being was invested into the second generation. So your life come to the fourth stage. Four, so that, <clears throat> that now, not only I have responsibility, I have commitment with my investing, investment of investing or uh, invest, investing is right, of my life. I give my life to my young generation, right? And then uh, the fifth step, you become mature, old man, like uh, I am, but don't think a mature man is not mature. Uh, a mature man is still a man. But remember, uh, if you want you to be used by the Lord, you got to go through stages. And the most crucial stage is the third and the fourth. Am I right? The third stage is getting married. Am I right? Uh, the, the first two stages is automatic. It's just grow. In the church life, you grow. In the church life, you develop. In the church life, you're more and more manifested. Then <clears throat> you come to the third stage. You begin to realize there are responsibilities. You know what's the problem with the 16 couples uh, we mentioned last night? They didn't grow into the third stage. They do not realize they have responsibilities to the church. They are <clears throat> young. Uh, so they have some life. They have some understanding. They can tell you, I've been in the church life for 15 years. Uh, even in my mother's womb, I was attending meetings, and uh, uh, which is true, right? Many of you, even in the room, were in the meetings. I listened to my message through your mother. <laughs> I'm right. <clears throat> that is, uh, if you were 20, 20 some, I think it'd be very common. But <clears throat> remember that uh, <clears throat> uh, that is just a natural growth. It doesn't mean that, that it may not may not bring you the maturity. Uh, I think they are, you, you are possible growing quite well, uh, but uh, I I do not see uh, the commitment. You are not married, married to the church life yet. Church life is a place for you to enjoy, just like I, I grow up, I'm all right, until age 27, I depart from Taiwan to United States all by myself. Before that, I've always been with my parents. I don't know what to cook. I don't know anything, right? I just go to the dining table. I just eat my food, complain a little bit if it doesn't taste that good, right? Uh, I, I, when my mother told me, uh, she said, uh, 
you know, your kids should understand. I have to wash 10 men's clothes. Eight kids, right? And the husband of herself. She has to wash all these clothes. We don't even understand what she's talking about. So you wash 10 men's clothes. Until you wash your own clothes, you find that even one man's clothes is a lot of headaches. Am I right? But you, you have no idea. So today you look at, oh, the meeting hall is not so clean. Oh, it's, uh, it should be, uh, don't, don't have to be uh, that unpleasant. Uh, but who cares? Your dad and mom is old now. And you young people are just as old. Ignorant. Naive. So you look at it, that's your dad and mom. Uh, the elders, the seniors, they try their best, serve the Lord for so many years. Now become habitual, right? That's your job. You take care of it. It's none of our business. Brother, you got to first learn to marry. Marry to the church. I have my responsibility to the church life. Yeah. Come on. Let me find one brother. You, you, you. Can you walk around the hall? Tell us what's wrong. Can you walk around the hall from this end? Tell us what's wrong. Can you walk around at the end? Tell us what's wrong. Come back in one minute. Go. <laughs> Go. Write down 10 problems, five problems. Tell us what's wrong. Yeah, yeah, just, just remember it, remember it, yeah. Tell us what's wrong. You see, brother, you don't, you don't even look at it, right? You come in, ah, oh, praise the Lord, and uh, oh, there's a problem, yeah, uh, uh. Don't, uh, uh. Marry the church. Amen. That's your job. Amen. You're not for uh uh. You're for doing cleaning, right? Okay, now come on. Tell us what's wrong. You are this end, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, the curtains are really dusty. <laughs> are you sure? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> curtains are very dusty. Um, there's holes in the wall. Where? There's one, there's one over there, there's one over there, there's a big one over there. Oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Safe, cliff, little face. <laughs> don't, don't overexpose it. Oh, then, oh. then, another one. Should I keep going? Yeah, sure, <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Um, there's there's uh, water stains and like mold in the ceiling. What's that? Water damage. In the ceiling? Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. Um, there are cracks in the wall. Yeah, so let me see if this crack. Yeah, that was funny. Huh? They have all the videos, right? Every time my video come up, we see the crack. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. Looked like I was ministering in a shed or something. <laughs> uh, I don't know why there's a particular crack right over there, and it's always in the video. <laughs> you know, when, uh, of course, now the government uh, did something, it doesn't go. There are hundreds of messages given. Crap. Your signature. <laughs> yeah, crap become a signature. <laughs> they, the author's Titus ministry is such a poor place <laughs> that uh, even there's a crack and nobody see it. And nobody care about it. And of course, uh, usually, I don't care. I'm a grandpa. Grandpa can take everything. They're not bothered by anything. They've been through life enough. Well, okay, what else? Um, I mean, there's some spider webs. <laughs> what is that, spider? Spider webs. You're kidding. <laughs> you... Yeah, cobwebs. Oh, okay, then? That's all that I found. Did you see that? In the heater? No, no. In the stack of chairs? Yeah, I don't know why the stack of chairs should be there. Huh? That means... Me? 
Oh, that's for small groups. It's good. A video doesn't go that far. <laughs> Otherwise, people think that I'm in a, a crack on this side, a stack of chair on this side. <laughs> what kind of place I'm in? Hey, brother, let me ask you. Whose job is this to take care of it? All of a sudden, did you write, you young men think about it. There's something wrong with us. We never even considered this as our job. We think it's uh, Brother Dixon's job. Are you here, Dave? Dave, can you? Well, I know. Come on. Stuff. Come on. <laughs> Brother, I just see one thing. <laughs> he works so hard. Try to, try to raise up your arms. No. Did you see? The arm can open 73. At this age, he's moving around everything. Take care of the whole property for you. Are you ashamed of yourself? Why, old brother, serves the Lord 50 years. He was young at 30. Everything's fine. Now he's 73. When he came in, very tired, I said, where are you from? He was late. I said, how come you're late? He said, I'm from Akron. As you go Akron, for what? He renovated the hall. And they take away a chimney or something in their hall. Uh, I was very concerned. I said, you didn't do it, did you? Because move breaks. Old man shouldn't do it. I said, did you do it? He said, I didn't know how. I don't remember how he answered. I just told him, I said, be careful. Don't move the brakes. We are different with you. You have a crack. You lay down. Three days later, you walk up. We have something happen, stay with us lifelong. It doesn't go away anymore. So I see his hand. I always had a feeling, where are we young people? Where are we young people? You have this so-called uh, junior high, you have the senior high, if you have the mountain top, why don't you go to mountain hole? Don't give messages. Get the brother together, repair all the halls. You get inflamed, is there such a word? Swollen? Inflated. Yeah. inflated. inflated. You got inflated. You are the future. Church rely on you. Brother, which in a way you need it. In your growth, you need to build up a little self-confidence. But brother, how to apply it? This is not a joke. This is not a joke. What, what kind of thing is this? I, uh, sorry, I don't expose you. Sorry. But I have problems with my arm too. I have problems. By Lord's mercy, uh, uh, these few days, it moves okay now. But it doesn't mean it's not pain. It's painful every night. I know an old man. I know an old man, even hair become painful. Every, every part of your body is a problem when you become old. Yet, where are our young people? No, few young people say, I marry to the church. Then, whatever is needed in the meeting hall, it's also my responsibility. Brother, the brother fought when they were young to buy the property, to build a meeting place, for us to meet together. They fought. They owe the Lord and being faithfully fulfilled their commitment. Yet come to our young generation, for some reason, these things are gone. Thank you, brother. You don't mind? I don't mind. I see all the problems in here, but I'm just waiting for it to be seen by somebody else. Thank you. Very good. So now you see it. Of course, you're not from Cleveland. 
I dare not ask you to move to Cleveland to repair all the things. <laughs> but brother, do you see my points? The five stages, right? You have not come to the third stage, which is the middle, right? That eventually I married. I marry to the church.